Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool Duet Dryer Repair Kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions, the support rollers, the idler pulley, all the clips and washers to put them in, and the new belt. The dryer repair kit is used if you just want to go in and change out all the wearable parts. It includes the drum support rollers, a new idler pulley, a belt, and all the retaining clips. In order to get to the part, we have to take off the top of the machine. It's held in on the back with three quarter inch screws, which we can take out to get the top off. Once you have the screws out, you can pull back a little bit on the top and lift it off the machine. Now that we have the top off, we can remove the console. So first we have to take out these three screws that hold in the computer board. Now that we have the screws out, we can take this panel and rotate it upwards. And we can remove the two ribbon cables with a small flathead screwdriver. You just press on the locking tabs and pull them out. Now we can remove the two screws that hold in the console. Now that we have the screws out, we can open up the door. And you need to grab the console like this and flex it towards you so the tabs that are holding the console in place release and then you can lift it out. As long as we have the door open, we can take the lint screen out because we have to remove the lint duct. And then we can close the door. So we're going to remove the access panel. It's held in by two quarter inch screws, one in each corner. We have to remove this duct, so we have to first remove this bracket. The mounting screw is back here, and two screws on the top. They're all quarter inch, so we're going to use our nut driver and take them out. Now that we have the lint duct housing out, we can disconnect the moisture sensor wiring harness. If you have to, take a small screwdriver and pop it apart. There's little tabs on each side to release it. Last thing we have to do before we can pull the front off is remove the door switch wire harness. It's this three wire connector right here. Again, you can take a small screwdriver and release the tabs and pull it off. Now we can remove the front panel. All we have to do is remove these two lower screws. Now that we have the lower screws off, we can take off the two upper screws. They're behind the front panel. Now that we have the two back screws out, we can loosen up these two front screws. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them up about halfway so we can lift off the front panel. Now that we have the front panel off, we have more access and we can move this drum a little bit up out of the way and we can reach back inside and take the belt off. You need to reach back and find the idler pulley and pull it back to release the tension on the belt so you can get it off the motor pulley. Now that we have the belt off the idler pulley, we can use the belt to lift up the drum and guide it out of the dryer. Now that we have the drum out of the dryer, we can take the belt off. Now that we have the drum out, we have access to the support rollers and axles and the tri-rings. There's two rollers in the front and two in the rear. The dry repair kit comes with all four wheels and tri-rings for them. We're going to show you how to change out one. Just make sure you do it for all four of them. The first thing you have to do is remove the tri-ring with a flathead screwdriver. 
and then you can lift the drum support roller off and then you can remove the lower tri ring here's the idler pulley it's located right next to the motor it's uh, on this little spring loaded bracket in order to get it off we have to pop off the tri ring that holds it onto the shaft Then we can pull the idler wheel off. And there's a small washer back here that comes in the kit. So we're going to change that out too. Here's the dryer repair kit. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. We're not going to show you all the old pieces next to the new ones because it's too much to lay out. But in the kit, you're going to get the new idler pulley with its tri ring and washer, all the wheels and tri rings for the supports, and a new drive belt. First thing we're going to do is replace the new washer. Then we can slide the idler wheel on and put the new tri ring on. To put the new drum support roller on, we're going to first snap on the first tri ring. Then we can put the new drum support roller on and hold it in place with the second tri ring. The repair kit comes with a new belt, so we're going to put that around the drum before we put it back in the dryer. Now we can put the drum back in the dryer. When you put it in, you want to make sure that the rear of the drum rests on these rollers. You may see a black line where your old belt was riding. You want to put it right on that same line. And you want to make sure that the grooves are down and the colored part is up. Remember when you're putting the drum back in the dryer to make sure that this little silver tab is towards the front of the dryer. Now we're going to regenerate the drum and run the belt through the pulleys. And we want to take and put the belt over the top of the idler pulley and then make a loop with it to go over the motor pulley. Now that we have the belt on, you can carefully give the tub a spin to make sure that it's not twisted as it goes around the drum. Once you've made sure it goes around and there's no twists, we can start putting the dryer back together. When you're putting the front panel on, you want to make sure that the drum is on these rollers so you got to kind of angle it in like this, lift the drum up a little bit. Once you have the wheels on the drum, then you can lift the front panel up and hang it on the top mounting screws. Now we can finish securing the front panel. Now that we have the front panel on, we can secure the two wiring harnesses, the moisture sensor at the bottom, and the door switch harness at the top. To put the control panel in, you want to make sure that these tabs right here go into these openings on each end. Then we can hook up the wire harnesses, the ribbon cables for the control board, and put the screws in. Now we can hook up the ribbon cables. There's two of them. They go around the control board, a big one and a little one. All you have to do is snap them into place. Then we can rotate this whole control board assembly down so we can put the mounting screws back in. When you're putting the top on, you want to make sure that these tabs go underneath this piece right here. To make sure the tabs go under like they're supposed to, you want to set the top down a little bit back from the console and then slide it forward so they lock.
we can put the lint filter duct back in. Now we can put the lint filter back in and close the dryer door. Now that we have the blower housing in, we can put the access panel back on. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in and give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.